What's good, y'all? I'm Rich Sosa checking in with another banger. And man, I just want to start this banger off by saying thank y'all so much to the Rich Gang family for continuing to show up and show out for all the love, all the support, all the grinding that y'all have been doing by coming to the channel and just enjoying another video, y'all. But again, thank y'all so much. Now, as you can see by the looks of the title and the screen, the build that I'm bringing y'all today is the best all around paint beast, y'all. I'm telling y'all, the way we're making this paint beast is going to be really different. They even have a playmaking paint beast this year. So I could only imagine what other builds they have with the paint beast name. But I'm telling y'all right now, this is easily going to be the best one yet. But before we get into the making, sure to hit that sub button if you're new all are welcome to join the rich gang family y'all to all the supporters let's go ahead and run up those likes let's go ahead and get 40 likes on this banger be sure to share it with your family and friends and last but definitely not least y'all be sure to turn on post notifications so you can see when i upload every single monday through saturday at 10 a.m and sundays at 12 p.m y'all now let's get right into the making of this paint beast y'all so the build position that we are going to be choosing is going to be none other than the center position y'all now i know for sure for a fact that you can make this build out of different positions but i truly believe the way that i'm making it out of the center position is easily going to be better than any other position so the height that y'all want to go with, y'all, you're going to make it at 6, 10. And when it comes to the weight, go ahead and put your weight to where you get at least an 80 strength, y'all. That is something that I really aim for when making this build because I want to be able to guard all positions with this build. But I also don't want to be getting bullied in the paint. So honestly, I feel like the perfect weight is going to be 225 because once you hit 99, you're going to get that 80 strength. So you're going to be all good y'all now let's get right into the main attributes to when it comes to your finishing what you want to do is put your close shot to a 35 and your driving layup to an 86 y'all i'm also going to put my driving dunk to a 95 that right there unlocks the contact dunks and i'm also going to put my standing dunk to a 95 as well as my post control to an 89 and that gives us 25 finishing badges y'all now i lowered my post control to 88 because we still maintain the right amount of badges that we want so just to keep that in mind i'm also going to put my mid range at an 81 my three pointer at a 78 and free throw to a 93 and that's 19 shooting badges y'all that is going to be really good for this paint beast build when it comes to your playmaking put your pass accuracy at 30 interior defense you're going to go ahead and put that to 87 and perimeter at 74 y'all for your steal and block, you're going to max your steal out at 76, but your block is going to be a 44. And when it comes to your offensive and defensive rebound, go ahead and max them both out at exactly 95, y'all. Now, your speed you're going to put on this build is going to be a 75. Acceleration is going to be a 71. We're maxing out our strength at 76. Vertical is going to be an 84. And our stamina is going to be a 94 as well, y'all. Now, I'm telling y'all. The stats on this build are nice. We really don't need any playmaking, so that's why I did not touch it. This is really going to be one of the better center builds, especially because of the fact that we can guard multiple positions, but we're going to be able to snag over literally everybody, y'all. So as you can see with the takeovers, y'all, you can really pick to choose where you want to go here. I was thinking somewhere between finishing moves or even limitless range, but again, I feel like you could even consider see the future glass cleaner or even the post scoring y'all because you are part post score when it comes to this build you have an 88 post control so that's going to be just fine at 99 overall you're going to be in the 90s so this is really something to consider what y'all want to do when making this build and the takeovers are all pretty legit because you can really do everything on this build especially once you pick one of these takeovers i'm telling y'all you're gonna be just fine so i'm gonna go with post shot daggers for the first takeover you could go somewhere between finishing moves limitless range or even see the future if you want to be more offensive by all means you could pick an offensive takeover but to be balanced out i would go with see the future takeover to be honest so the last one that i'm picking 
of course is going to be the defensive now let's check out the build name and as y'all can see we get a legit paint beast that can literally do everything that a center needs to do y'all this build is really going to be able to snag over anybody so i truly believe that you are not going to suffer when it comes to making this build y'all now real quick tip of advice let me show y'all some of the stuff that you're going to be able to do once you hit 99 overall so you're going to get plus eight to your physicals speed is going to be an 83 acceleration a 79 y'all your strength is going to be up to an 84 your vertical is going to be a 92 and you're going to have 99 stamina but that's not it for your main stats once you hit 99 you're going to have a 91 interior defense you're going to have a 78 perimeter your steal is going to go to 80 y'all your offensive and defensive rebound are both going to be 99 and you're not going to be struggling when it comes to shooting because your mid-range is going to be an 85 three-pointer in 82 y'all i'm telling y'all it just gets better you're going to have a 99 driving dunk a 99 standing dunk post control is going to be a 92 and you're going to have a 90 driving layup y'all i'm telling y'all this is easily the best paint beast because you're going to be fast at 610 you're having max wingspan so you can really guard anybody and that 99 defensive and offensive rebound is really going to put this build over the top for being the best paint beast in all of 2k21 next gen y'all now when it comes to the finishing y'all what y'all want to go ahead and do is of course put on posterizer on hall of fame as well as giant slayer fearless finisher is one of my favorite badges this year but also remember you are part post score so you could put on drop stepper or even post spin technician personally I feel like Postman Technician is the better badge, but you can really throw on Dream Shake too if you want to. I'm also going to put on Rise Up as well as either Back Down Punisher is a possibility or even Pro Touch, y'all. I'm going to put on Pro Touch on Hall of Fame and Acrobat on Bronze, and that's going to be the badge setup that we have, and that's already six Hall of Fame badges. But when it comes to the shooting, y'all, what y'all want to go ahead and do first things first, put on Fade Ace on Hall of Fame, y'all, and as well... You're going to want to throw on Hot Zone Hunter and put that on gold. Now, we have a total of 12 remaining badges. So, you can really pick and choose with what you want to do. Again, it's all based on preference. But I really want to put on Corner Specialist because this badge activates all the time when you're in the corner. It doesn't need to be a three-pointer. It can be anywhere on the court as long as it's on the corner. But again, you don't need that. I'm going to put on Clutch Shooter on Hall of Fame as well. Again, corner specialist is something just to consider if you like to post up and take them to the corner. That's going to be a well-worthy badge to put on. I'm also going to have on Deadeye as well as Green Machine. But I'm going to put my corner specialist on silver or either gold. And you don't need Green Machine. You could even go with Hot Start on silver. And that's what I'm going to do. We didn't touch our playmaking, so we don't need to get into that. But when it comes to the defense, y'all, essential badges you're going to want on this build. I'm telling y'all straight up. You're going to want on Clutch Defender on Hall of Fame, y'all. Another one you're going to want on with that 99 rebound is, of course, going to be Rebound Chaser, y'all. Tireless Defender is really going to put this build over the top because of the fact I feel like Tireless Defender is really going to be one of the more better badges. And I'm going to throw on Pogo Stick as well as Box, y'all. Now, right there, that's a total of five Hall of Fame badges. You have two remaining, so you could really spread the wealth if you want. Or even just put on a silver badge or even drop some of your Hall of Fame badges if you want to. I would go somewhere between Interceptor and Worm. So let's say you only want Tireless Defender on silver. That's completely fine. You could put on Hall of Fame Defensive Leader. That's a really good idea to do. Again, you could even throw on Heart Crusher, which is another really good badge to have on. But again, that's the setup that we're going to go with for this build. And now we have a total of between our finishing and our defense that's 11 hall of fame badges y'all add the shooting 13 hall of fame badges setup of 25 19 and 22 that is an awesome setup for this paint beast build and i feel like this is the perfect center build again thank y'all for having me a part of y'all day and thank y'all for enjoying but with all that being said if you watch this entire banger through thank you again be sure to hit that sub button if you're new all are welcome to join the rich gang family y'all to all the supporters let's go ahead and run up those likes let's get 40 likes be sure to share it with your family and friends and last but not least y'all be sure to turn on post notifications so you can see when i upload every single day and when i go live y'all 
Man, with all that being said, I got one last thing to say. Rich out.